Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be finishing off this guitar paint job for anybody who's been following it. So that's the Frankenstrat paint job. I'm also going to be uh, putting a coat of, well, I'm going to be, sorry, clear coating that guitar. I'll probably polish it later. Uh, and I'm also going to be putting a coat of clear on this rusted piece of metal for a sign that I'm working on. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to get a professional looking coat of paint or gloss with spray cans. Now, uh, I apologize for the preamble here, but it's necessary because this is the closest thing to an inflammatory video I've ever done, I think. There's, there's going to be, <laughs> I'm sure there are going to be people who, who tell me, well, that's not possible, spray cans are junk, uh, you can't get a professional coat of paint with them. Usually those people are, you know, 45-year-old men who have been, or, you know, people who have been coating cabinets for the last 26 years or something and, and don't realize that maybe the technology has changed a little bit. But... I'm talking about a professional looking coat of paint in that if you, I show it to you today or a year from now, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. You're not going to be able to tell that it was done with spray cans. It's going to, oh, my hoses is leaking. It's going to look just like a professional paint gun finish. Uh, now, maybe 10 years down the road or if I leave it out in the sunlight for a year, maybe then you'll be able to tell the difference because it's still not a fully professional coat of paint. You can get better paint in gallons, mix it, and put it through a gun. It's just the way it is. You can get, you know, better UV protection. You can get <clears throat> a more durable coat, you know, a finish that really dries rock hard. That stuff's available in gallons. It's not available in cans. It's just how it is, uh, in spray cans. <coughs> Pardon me. But this is about as close as you're gonna come, and you're gonna get a professional gloss out of this if you do it properly. You're gonna get a very hard finish, and it's, it's gonna be a very high quality finish, G good enough that, that you, it can definitely pass for a professional job if done correctly, uh, at least for a reasonable lifespan. So what I've got here is the 2K Clear Glamour, uh, Glamour being gloss in this case, Spray Max Clear Coat. Now it says when the, on the cans here and when they sell it, they'll ask probably, it's for professional use only. Um, this is a, a catalyzed clear, just like what you would get in a gun. Well, not just like, but you know, like some of those. Uh, it's got two parts. There's a can, another can inside this can that you actually have to break. They mix together. Um, and there are a couple things that you should know. First of all, these are pricey. They're pretty expensive. Second, there are isocyanates in this and everything. They're horrible for you, just like a normal catalyzed clear. Um, so you do need to protect yourself when you're spraying them. And uh, third, once you mix these, even though they're sealed in this can, there is a working workable life to them. I think this thing tells you it's like 16 hours or something like that. Once activated, pot life 48 hours. I don't believe that. Um, I'd love to believe that, but there's no way that I'm coming back to this can in 40 hours and spraying again. So if you need to spray today, scuff tomorrow and spray again, maybe you can do that. Um, I say once you activate this thing, you have a spraying session maybe two at best if they're less than a day apart, and then you're done. This can is done. This is more than enough to do a guitar. I could probably do three of them with this. Uh, that might even be a conservative estimate. But, you know, keep that in mind. So if you're going back multiple times, if you're trying to build up 10 coats of paint over the course of a week, you're going to need several of these, and it's going to get pretty pricey. That's about it. Really, I'll show you how to do this. It's got a nice, uh, a pretty fancy nozzle on there. It does create a fan pattern, much like a spray gun does, although a fairly small one. I'm um, sorry, this preamble is getting a little long. So what you do is you pull this thing out. The instructions are on the can, actually. Uh, you make sure that this is really well shaken first. Now you fit this onto this on the bottom, and you have to push quite hard to break the can inside. Uh, so it used to be, yeah, if you fit that on there, you can actually just smack it on the table and then give it another shove just to make sure. Make sure that can inside is broken. Once you've done that, you're ready. It's catalyzed. So now you have to shake it again to mix up the catalyst and the paint. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to shake this again. I'm going to throw on my respirator, ditch this mic so that it doesn't get covered in clear coat, and probably toss on some gloves. It's also recommended that you wear one of those... Uh, you know, the body suits to, well, to protect yourself and to keep hair and stuff from getting on your surface. Make sure your surface is well cleaned. I've already wiped mine down with wax and grease remover. 
Yeah, and in a couple minutes, when my arm is nice and tired, we'll come back and spray this. All right, guys, so I'm going to start off here with what we call a tack coat. That's what I usually do with my first coat of a polyurethane clear. And it's just a lighter coat than usual so that the paint can stick, you know, more easily. I'm, I'm providing a base for the next coats to stick. And it also helps to prevent runs because your first coat's going on light. And again, there's that base so the next ones don't want to sag as much. So you'll notice I'm spraying a little bit faster than I usually would here. And, uh, and that's what's giving me that kind of tacky base. So I'm, I'm not getting a wet coat by any means. I'm just kind of getting a nice surface for the next one to adhere to. I've sped up here so that you don't have to watch me do it at normal speed the whole time because you got the idea. And I wait 10 minutes and now we're on to the second coat. So this one is a medium wet coat as will be the next one. Um, we're just spraying this the normal way. <clears throat> I'm checking because there's some, <laughs> some rust poking through there but that's not important. Uh, and yeah, this is the speed that I would normally spray at if I'm not doing a tack coat. So all of the subsequent coats go on at this pace. And this one, again, uh, in a few seconds here, I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing at, uh, at this same pace. But you'll notice that this is kind of a more reasonable speed to be spraying at. So again, I'm, I'm doing a 50% overlap, and here we've sped it up. Again, this is double speed, but 50% uh, overlap on the strokes, and having that nice fan pattern on the can helps me do that. And you can see I'm getting a nice medium wet coat here. So if anyone's interested in the stuff that I'm going to be or that I'm using and that I would be using for polishing and everything, um, I'm going to place a link in the description to a well, it's called a kit. Basically, it's going to be a little uh, reference website on kit.com where you can see the ver links to the various products that I'm well using or would be using to get a nice professional-looking coat of clear with cans or a professional-looking finish. Uh, so feel free to check that out if you're looking for a referral to any of this stuff. And if you purchase it through the links there, it actually helps me out if you are planning on buying any of it because uh, I get a little bit of a kickback so I can buy more stuff like this and, and make more videos. So feel free to check that out. That'll be in the description. This is the third coat going on, uh, third and final. And now I'll give you a nice little close-up here. This is what the guitar looks like after having been sprayed. So this is uh, probably five minutes after I sprayed that third coat. You can see it's got a nice gloss on it. It basically looks exactly how you would expect it to if you were spraying this kind of material through a gun. I apologize if this <laughs> section of the video is a little bit dizzying. I'm obviously not using a tripod or anything, and I don't have one of those camera stabilizers, so you're getting um, me just holding it in my hands. But, you know, pretty, pretty nice coat of paint. Uh, you can't really expect more than that, particularly from spray cans, but really... In general, I think it turned out pretty well. All right, guys, so there you have it. It's been uh, 24 hours-ish, 22 hours, something like that, since I sprayed this. I did three coats, 10 minutes apart, and the can's still good. I, I just, just tested it a couple minutes ago. It still works fine. Um, so the pot life hasn't expired yet. It does say 48 hours, but it's been, been 24, like I said. Um, but yeah, we got a nice durable finish here. Good quality gloss. Um, you know, not, no more orange peel than you would expect out of even a, a standard gun finish with this kind of paint. There is a little bit of dust in here, but that's because I'm in a warehouse. There's a CNC woodworking machine over there, a belt sander over there, you know. It, I didn't, <laughs> didn't exactly do it in a spray booth. But that's kind of the point, isn't it? I don't have the professional equipment out, or I didn't get the prof any professional equipment out for this one. I just got a professionals only spray can. It looks like a professional quality finish and it hasn't even been sanded or polished yet. Uh, so if I went in and added those steps, which I probably will at some point, sanded this nice and flat up to a high grit and polished it as per any one of the uh, polishing tutorials that I've done at this point you would see it would look exactly like a professional quality finish. You, would, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking to get a nice high quality uh, clear coat on something using spray cans, this is the method that I would use. I'd pick up some catalyzed polyurethane. There are a couple companies that make it. This one is Spraymax. And give that a try. And uh, again, make sure you're using the proper safety equipment. Uh, make sure that you're prepared to spray when you do activate the can because your time is... It's not super limited, but it is limited to a degree, and the cans are kind of expensive, so if you've got more than one thing that you want to spray, 
that's probably for the best too. Might, uh, might be worth saving up a couple projects until you're ready to activate one of these. And that's it. So make sure you give that, it's, it's catalyzed so it dries quickly. Make sure you give it at least 24 hours. I'd give it probably 48 and then, uh, and then you'd be ready to sand it and polish it. Just be careful, as always, when you're sanding and polishing, you don't want to burn through it. Uh, you can scuff this up to get a thicker build on there. You could scuff this up after one day, like right about now, if it were me, and spray it down again. Uh, that wouldn't be a problem. That's what they do in some automotive applications. And one of the differences between this and like a $400 gallon clear coat is the build thickness. So if you've got something with lots of paint ridges and stuff like this guitar would have because of the taping, that might be worthwhile. But I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I got a pretty good thick coat on there with my, uh, or pretty good thick build on there with my three coats. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and have a good one. See you next time.